Hey guys, to come and show the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone mail not loading on your phone. So as you can see here, if you're trying to load mail, you might be getting this checking for mail and you never get new mails anymore on your iPhone or it's just stuck like this. But you can fix this by going through all the troubleshooting steps that we're going to show you in this video. So if you're having this issue, first thing to going to check is your internet connection. And by internet connection, we mean by either Wi-Fi or cellular data. So a good way to check is go up here, make sure if you're using Wi-Fi that Wi-Fi is turned on and if you have Wi-Fi signal there. The other thing to make sure is cellular uh, is on as well. You can also go into your settings as well and then check out uh, the cellular data is on and your service is on there. Now after you've done that, the next thing you want to do is turn on airplane mode like this or from the top here, you want to enable airplane mode just momentarily and then we're going to turn it back off. And the reason why you do that is that it does a quick uh, network refresh. So if you had any connection issues before, it will resolve it because to fetch or load mail on your iPhone, you need to make sure that your internet connection is available and there it is able to connect to the internet because it needs to pull down the mail from the internet. So after you have done that and it's still not working, the next thing you want to do is slide off from the top here and simply close out the app itself. So closing it out and then you want to go ahead and reopen it again one more time. And all it does that is allows the phone to kind of do it again, kind of reload the app itself, and then also do a full form where it fetches the mail for you again. You might want to do it a couple times just to see if it resolves it. Sometimes it could be stuck and you want to do a few times are better and it should be resolved by now. Now, if you're still having the issue, the next thing you want to check on your iPhone is the storage that you have on your phone. Sometimes if your phone is full completely, it might not be able to download mail, especially if you have larger mail to show you and load on the phone. To check your storage on your phone, you're going to go into settings and then you're going to go to general and then you'll see there's the iPhone storage option. And what you're going to check for here is to make sure that you have free space available here. As you can see here, we're using only 22 gig out of 128 gig. But let's say you're using on your phone like 128 gig of 128 gig or if you have like 256 gig of 256 gig basically all of this is full that means your phone will not be able to kind of get the mail and in order to clean things up you want to check out what's taking up the space usually you want to start by deleting things like videos which usually tend to be the biggest space saver if you have videos and photos on your phone you can delete go ahead and select and delete those videos themselves and you'll start seeing that once you delete them and you want to go there clear recently deleted completely make sure they're deleted and if you have apps and stuff you can delete as well to free up space and then you're going to go back there and check that the space goes down as you can see when i deleted that video it went down 0 0.9 meg uh, gig which allows the phone to again download new mail if you have now after you have done that the next thing to do is a force restart on your phone so you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold the side button. So I'll show you in real time, I'm going to press and release the volume up a volume down and then hold the side button. And while I'm holding the side button on my right hand side here, I'm going to keep on holding it until we see the screen go completely black and we see the Apple logo reappear. So once we see the Apple logo reappear, I'm going to let go of that side button. Again, make sure you press and release the volume up and down really quick one after another and then hold that side button don't slide to power off and all this is doing is completely shutting the phone down and then reloading the software again if you had any minor software issues impacting your phone this will resolve those issues and hopefully you can get mail now again on your iPhone now after you have done that and it's still not working the next thing to do is go ahead and do your settings here and this time in the setting you want to go to general and the software update and see if there's update available if there is update available it'll show up here like this where it says uh, download and install you're going to go ahead and download and install the newest update out and the reason why you want to do that is sometimes a previous update might have broken certain functionality on your phone and it might not work properly so you want to make sure your phone is up to date with the latest software version this generally could take away between half an hour to 45 minutes i recommend you plug your phone into a charge outlet so it can charge you need your phone to be at least 50 percent or more whenever you're doing any sort of software update as well and make sure you have a good strong wi-fi or cellular data to download that update itself and install now after you have done that and it's still not working the next thing you want to do in settings here 
is going to settings here and then general. And scroll down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. You're gonna click on that and then click on the very first option. It'll give you a menu of resets. The reset that we want to do is the second option where it says reset network settings. And the reason why you want to reset the network setting is that if you're having connectivity issues, it will resolve that. But before you click on that, this will take you about two to three minutes. What it will do is delete any settings around the network configuration like your Wi-Fi saved password, VPN settings. So before you do that, make sure you know it will not delete any of your personal data like photos, videos, apps, anything like that. It's just only resetting the settings themselves. So if you're having issues with mail, hopefully it will be resolved after that. Now after you have done that and it's still not working, you still can't get mail, it's trying to load but not loading, the next thing you can do is simply go ahead and delete the mail app itself here so you're going to press and hold you're going to delete the app like this and it'll be the first option and once you delete it you're going to reinstall it from the app store itself so you go to in the app store here you're going to search up mail so right you search up mail you'll get this option to if this thing is open but because we have a download you'll get a get option or a cloud icon and click on that and reinstall the mail app so that if there was any issues with the mail app reinstalling itself will help you. Now after you have done that and it's still not working, the next thing you're going to go is go into your settings of your phone and what you will do this time in the mail, you click on mail here and then you look for accounts and what you will do here is let's say you have mail, right? If you're having mail not coming through from a certain account like let's say iCloud or Gmail, what you will want to do is go ahead and delete that mail account that you have. So you'll delete it and then re-add it again. So once you re-add it again, you want to make sure that mail is turned on like this way we have. The other one, uh, you want to make sure, also check the other one to make sure that mail is on for you as well. That way it will allow you to go ahead, if you want to add the account again, you'll click over here and then you'll select that same account. And that will do is allow the phone to make sure that if your password has been changed or if there's any issue going with the mail server themselves, it will be resolved. And after you have done that and you verify that all of that works, the other thing you want to verify is if you have a computer or another device where you're getting the mail, make sure you're getting mail from there. Sometimes it could be the actual mail provider themselves that are having issues and you want to verify that the mail itself is working on it for you. So hopefully by now the f your mail is loading and it's fixed for you. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.